In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon po. In behalf of uh, Monsignor Rolly de la Cruz, our Rector, and Father Biel Bautista, our Vice Rector, we welcome the Lector and Commentator Ministry of St. Bartholomew Parish in Nagkarlan, Laguna. So welcome po sa Mother Church. May the brothers and sisters to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries that has called to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, Grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on the place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians, in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought to thank God always for you, brothers and sisters, as is fitting because your faith flourishes evermore, and the love of every one of you for one another grows ever greater. Accordingly, we ourselves, both of you in the churches of God, regarding your endurance and faith, in all your persecutions and the afflictions you endure. This is evidence of the just judgment of God, so that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you are suffering. 
We always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of His calling and powerfully bring to fulfillment every good purpose and every effort of faith, that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in Him, in accord with the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless His name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce His salvation day after day. Tell His glory among the nations, among all peoples, His wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is He beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You lock the kingdom of heaven before men, you do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow entrance to those trying to enter. Who to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you traverse sea and land to make one convert, and when that happens, you make him a child of Gehenna twice as much as yourselves. Who to you, blind guides, who say, if one swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obligated. Blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that made the gold sacred? And you say, if one swears by the altar, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gift of the altar, one is obligated. You blind ones, which is greater, the gift or the altar, that makes the gift sacred. One who swears by the altar, swears by it, and all that is upon it. One who swears by the temple swears by it, and by him who dwells in it. One who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God, and by him who is seated 
on it. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon po once again to all of you. Pwede ho bang pakibate yung katabi natin ng good afternoon din? So let us uh, thank the Lord for uh, gathering us in this uh, beautiful Monday afternoon as we celebrate the 21st, 21st week in Ordinary Time Monday. You know, while reflecting on our readings today, particularly the Gospel, I remember a story that is told about this little boy who asked his father what is meant by the letter F sa kanyang report card. Sabi niya, Daddy, ano ibig sabihin ng letter F dito sa natanggap ko sa aking card? So, yung tatay nag-isip sandali at sinabi niya, Anak, alam ko ibig sabihin ng letter F. Ibig sabihin niyan, fast. Ah, ganun ba, sabi nung bata. Sabi nung anak, akala ko kasi, Daddy, ang ibig sabihin ng letter F ay perfect. <laughs> but we know already what it means, letter F, on the report card. My dear brothers and sisters, you see what happens when we pretend to know, when we really don't. And when we pretend to be what we really are not. Honesty has become such a lonely word in our world. Sabi nga ng isang kanta. Because we are so much filled with pretenses misinformation, misrepresentations, lies, and manipulations. As someone once said, mabuti pa ang tanghali tapat. Except for a few, we all have skeletons in our closets. Some are just more successful in hiding them. My dear brothers and sisters, we hear the gospel of today where our Lord rebook and even warn those in power, those in authority, not to lead the people they serve to scandal and even lies or make themselves also follow their way of life of so many pretenses. There are no greater gods among us. Let us not play the best or the better than though, more so the holier than though game. We are all sinners, period. A priest which I look up to always told us not to mind and not to be focused on what people say about us, good or bad. My dear brothers and sisters, what matters is what God says of us, period. We are all sinners, period. And what matters is what God says of us, period. Please stand. 
Conscious of our unworthiness, we raise our minds and hearts to God the Father and bring our needs before Him. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, especially its leaders, may take to heart the task of renewal and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may show sincere concern for justice, dignity, and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That media personnel may lead the people to the truth and promote the gospel values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find hope, healing, strength, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may reward the faithful departed with eternal happiness for their faithful service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and truth. Through Jesus is our way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God 
who takes away the sins of the world, happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, no.